Hey guys, I thought I'd teach you how to make a birth announcement or a first birthday card in a free account on Canva. Everybody has access to Canva. You go to canva.com and then you create a personal um, free account. So once you're in here, this is kind of what it looks like. And then you can search for templates to make your life so much easier. And I put in birth announcements first to kind of see which free birth announcement templates I can use. So the free ones are the ones that don't have the little uh, crown next to it. Um, one thing to note though, is that you can look at these and you can create them yourself. And once you've played around with um, Canva for a while, you'll figure it out. So if you see a template that you like, you can make it. But for, Today's little lesson, I'm just going to show you how to create them in the free version. So this here says, hello world, and then you can put your own photo in, and then you can go in here and you can decide what all of this says, obviously. Um, I uploaded a couple pictures, I uploaded one picture. So I'm gonna show you how to put your photo in here. I clicked on it, I'm gonna drag it over, and there it is, easy. This is like one of the easiest template creators I've ever seen. So this is a really cool and easy way to make a quick birth announcement. Obviously you can go in here and you can change all of this. Your baby was born at seven o'clock. You can fix that, you can fix all of this stuff. I would just leave it alone. The, the designers, they do a great job. So. For these ones i wouldn't change the font but i'll show you where you can do that up here you can change the font it shows them all which is so great it shows them what they're going to look like obviously that one doesn't work it was this one here um once you're done manipulating um what you want you can also go in here and you can expand your photo or make it smaller after you double clicked on it, you can move it around within that window. But they make it so easy. When you're finished, you can go up here and you click share and you can download it. You can also use their printing services through Canva and then you don't have to download it and then upload it to whatever you're using. So that would be a really quick and easy way to do it. So there's that. We can go in and we can look for, this is another window here, we can look for first birthday invitations for boys and like I said before as long as it doesn't have this little thing that says pro you can use any of these ones this one might be for an older kid but let's try it out oh I clicked on one that you're not supposed to um, maybe this is not the best window to look at this in so let's go back over to here to home and we can type in first birthday up here then it's easier to see the little crown so if we want to use one of these without the crown like check this one out you can put a whole bunch of photos in here you could put all 12 months that's so cute so you say customize this template and then you would upload more photos and you would drag them over. And once your cursor is over it, it'll drop in. Um, there's my lesson for today. I hope you find that useful. I would encourage you to go in and try Canva. It's really user-friendly and a great way to make a quick card.